Well, hello once again. Um, today uh, I'm going to be talking about uh, my arbor support. Have a uh, vertical horizontal mill, Transworld Steel VHM 728 that uh, I don't have an arbor support for. And uh, this block of uh, inch and a quarter, six by six, uh, 60, 61 aluminum is going to serve as the uh, new arbor support. Um, I didn't think to uh, start videotaping uh, the actual process of laying out the uh, dovetails or anything to that effect. I didn't think that would be too interesting. Um, in retrospect, I probably should have done it. It might have been interesting to somebody. But nonetheless, um, I guess I could start right now. Um, uh, basically, this was uh, just a chunk of aluminum. Uh, it wasn't square at all, and it still really isn't square on the bottom side of it, but it really doesn't matter um, at this point. Um, <clears throat> what I am going to do um, after it's all said and done, um, the, the, the bottom part of the casting is actually going to be cut off of it, so none of that really matters. What will matter is the distance from this dovetail to the actual uh, point of where the arbor is going to enter. Um, this being aluminum, I'm going to have to put a, uh, a bushing of some sort or uh, even a roller bearing would work. Uh, I think I'm going to go simple and uh, use a, uh, a bronze bushing. Um, actually kind of toying with the idea, even trying a Delrin bushing uh, just to see how long it lasts in that kind of operation. Um, may do a side-by-side -side comparison and uh, see exactly how that works for both materials. But uh, for uh, this uh, part of the operation it was just basically to uh, show um, the dovetail. Um, it does fit on the machine right now. Uh, the fit is um, approximately uh, two thousandths loose um, in any direction. The idea behind this one is I'm going to make a split down the middle of this. Um, there's going to be a, a bolt that's uh, drilled through the side and countersunk into it um, to pinch the castings together to slightly compress this. Um, I may even go through the extra steps of cross drilling this, making a couple of pins with uh, the uh, 60 degree angles on them, or 30 degree angles actually, um, to uh, capture the sides of the, uh, the ram as well. But um, we'll show more of this as the process goes along. Thanks for watching.